Black Bruce Lee. <laughs> Yo, what's the word, Kaiser crew? It's your boy, Ja X Kaiser. <laughs> Damn. But look, today we doing my thoughts on gambling. Let's get into the video, man. Let's clear this shit. You should gamble. That's right. I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Um, Only if you have a lot of money. If you don't have a lot of money, I advise you do not gamble whatsoever because you will be a broke motherfucker. <laughs> right, I said it. it. You all should gamble so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling is. Here's damn, bro. Hold on. You all should gamble wait, so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling is. Look at all that recoil right there, bro. All right, pause. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me Here's chill. the stitch with gambling, okay? Gambling is only fun if you don't understand math. Humans have been gambling since the dawn of um, whenever money was invented. Shit, you, you might be gambling and you don't even know it. You bet you're gambling. Yeah, get. Anytime you bet anything that's valuable, you're gambling. You're gambling. I mean, just take one look at the Las Vegas Strip and you will immediately understand how lucrative the gambling industry is. Yeah. They built the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, and Caesar's Palace all on the same street. Gambling is street. everywhere in Las Vegas. Everywhere. As soon as you step off the plane, you're bombarded with slot machines in the air. It's true. It's not, it's not a cap, bro. This is literally true. Port, are you kidding me? You can't wait to gamble? As soon as you step off the airplane, you just immediately go, I gotta win big. I'm telling you, if you go to Las Vegas, you better have some money. Like I'm talking, I'm not talking about 5,000, 10,000, no. I'm talking about like 20K, bro. Like gambling is so addictive. It's like, it's like, it's like a rush. It's like a feeling, you feel me? Look, I understand why people gamble. I get it. I play Magic the Gathering and opening up a booster pack and not getting any expensive cards is the exact same feeling as losing your entire life yeah. savings. The first time. It's like, listen, I, um, I know I'm gonna be a bad person if I start gambling because one time me and my friend was betting, like we was playing Call of Duty, bro. I was beating them so bad. It was like 20 each round, right? And I was beating them. And I had got 60, bro. It was like double or nothing. Bro, I lost. What's 60 plus 60? Do the math. That's 120 right there. I had to give that 120, bro. 120. 120. The time I gambled, I was in Australia for VidCon. After the convention, me and a bunch of mates went to a bar, and I found out that there was a casino attached to it. And I thought, Damn. perfect, I'm in a different country, so my parents will never find out that I gambled. Plus, I'm of legal age and independent. Yeah, that is where you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our gambling freak on. I was only comfortable asking my friend Moz to borrow some cash, because I feel like if a friend asks, hey, can I borrow some money to gamble with? You're never gonna see yeah. that money or that friend ever again. All Moz had was a fiver, which is Australian for $5. $5. So I only got one chip to gamble with. And I decided to spend that one chip on roulette because that's the only game I knew how to play. I know how to play blackjack, but I know there's a mathematical algorithm for the best, most perfect way to play. So yeah. I don't know how to play blackjack, you know? And poker is too intimidating. I it can't is. deal with people hyperanalyzing my facial expressions to see if I'm bluffing. I Yeah, yeah, poker. <laughs> he, he's not lying about that. I already bro. know I'm a bad liar. And the last time I actually played poker was with Luigi on my DS. Here's some Great. honest strategy for the game roulette, okay? Sometimes a roulette table will have a TV screen that gives you stats for hot numbers at the table. Like it'll say, Red 23's been popping. It's been yeah. hit 14 times. Don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Today, ignore those statistics. Every square at a roulette table has an equal chance of hitting regardless of whatever the previous numbers were. Just yeah. ignore those stats and always bet odd. So, right. with just one chip to my name, I was able to turn that single chip 
into 200 Australian dollar dues. And this is this is where exactly a lot of people fall at. They get the money. They try to double it. Instead of taking the money, doing what you do with it, and come back. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh, the gambler's high. Oh, I'm not sure about your investments, but a 4,000% profit is very good. I could have kept going, but I really wanted to rub my winnings into Maz's face. Yeah. I cashed out my chips, went back to the bar, and then slammed the two hundos on the table. He did good right there. Though. And said something cocky like, how about them cheeky buggers, mate? And Maz was like, did you just win those 200 wibbly wobbly dollary dues? Oh my yeah. goodness. And it's all mine. And Maz went, hey, you still owe me 200 Australian dollars for that other thing I did for you. That is crazy. So I was dashing yeah, we got a And now I'm here in LA making a movie. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I do do, I do owe you that. Then he scooped up my two Australian hundos that I was just rubbing in his face. You stupid motherfucker. That is exactly why. Exactly why, bro. It's an anomaly that my very first casino experience was so positive. It was like the devil himself was tempting. Bro, like, what? what's up with these butt cheeks in the video, bro? What's up with that? Tempting me to continue gambling. See? Gambling lets you pay off your debts. <laughs> Never stop. That, That's where or I'm just up. really good at Australian roulette. This is probably how people get addicted to gambling, huh? Casinos are designed to make you stay in them for as long as possible. There's no clocks or windows, so you can't see how late it's getting. Chips are used, so it doesn't feel like you're spending money. And there's supposedly free alcohol, but I guess they run out whenever I show up. But even <laughs> knowing all the ways casinos manipulate you, it's kind of fun just being inside a casino. All the now, now it is. Listen, I can't expose myself saying that like I have gambled before. I have gambled before, but a casino it it it's it's cool. It's fun all until you lose money. <laughs> it's all fun until you lose money. That's all I'm gonna say. Lights, the old ladies at the slot machines smoking away their already decaying lungs, the people crying in the bathroom because they have a gambling addiction. It's great. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, you're gonna win next time. I'm sure of it. Why to counter the, the life ending stressors though, people will give the advice, if you're gonna gamble, have a set budget and just assume you're gonna lose it all. And that is exact, look, this right here, it never worked, it never worked. Never worked, bro, never. But I couldn't even do that. I, I told you. Not the sticking to a budget part, I couldn't bring myself to gamble away my allotted budget. When I went to Vegas, I told myself I was only going to gamble $300. But after I lost- You went to Vegas to a casino with $300. Make that make sense. You literally have to spend more than what you get, bro. That is, that is crazy. Lost 200? I thought to myself, yeah, I don't think this is a good investment anymore. One time I was on a slot machine and I got the five buffaloes in a row or whatever, and I got the chance to win a jackpot. There was a mini game on the slot machine where I had to flip over tiles that had either bronze, silver, or golden apples. And if I flipped over three golden apples, I'd win the golden jackpot. And if I flipped over three silver apples, I'd get the silver jackpot, and bronze apples gave the bronze jackpot, which okay. was the lowest jackpot. The gold jackpot was $5,000. Mm. So I flip over the first tile and it's a golden apple. And I think, whoa. Then I flip over another tile and it's another golden apple. And that's mm. when I got the feeling. Oh my God, <laughs> I might actually win Come on, man. $5,000. Then I flip over three bronze apples in a row, winning the lowest jackpot. Are you a dumb motherfucker? Hold on. Dollars. Then I flip over. Okay. Three. You missed right there. You had a whole. Oh! This nigga retarded. Oh! Bronze apples in a row, winning the lowest jackpot. I don't oh. even remember how much it was because I spent it all on the very same slot machine, and I immediately knew what happened. 
The game was dangling that golden jackpot right in front of my face, making me think I was one golden apple away from making it big, even making me pick which tile to flip over so it would make me feel more in control. That's crazy. When the whole time the computer could just change what was on the tile that I flip over because it's a computer, it can cheat, it's Schrodinger's jackpot. And before you think Boom. I just got really bad luck, that very day I was walking through the casino and I saw a guy playing on the same slot machine and he got to the same jackpot mini game. And I stopped to watch him and the exact same thing happened. He flipped over two golden apples and then three bronze ones. I don't know what the statistics are of that happening twice, okay. but it's mighty coincidental. Why are True. we still gambling if the majority of people who gamble lose all their money? Because it's fun. It, it is. It's like, it's, I wouldn't say gambling is a bad addiction. It's like, it's like certain points you reach that makes it a bad addiction. Like, if you just like gambling every day nonstop. Now, I see if like you winning, you making a lifestyle out of it. But if you're not winning and you just going broke, like, nah, man, that's not it. That's not it, twin. It's a stupid way to spend your money, absolutely. But the rush, man. In Australia, there were multiple times where I could have lost all my money, and statistically, I should have. But whenever an odd number was hit, I couldn't help but throw my hands in the air and celebrate. I was Ooh. hugging the dealer over winning $20. However, no matter how many times you win the jackpot, if you spend enough time in a casino, you will always lose. Ever hear the phrase, the house always wins? That's because they have the mathematical advantage and computers who cheat. Gambling is oh. not an investment. It's not a way to pay off your debts. It is entertainment. If done responsibly and in a social setting, gambling is absolutely fine to indulge in. And if you get upset that you lost all your money, what did you think was gonna happen? Hey, my nigga, you, you went to Las Vegas, my nigga. You think you're think you coming out of there with a million dollars, my nigga? Think twice. So for this end card, I- Fuck around and you gonna find out. <laughs> I decided to gamble away a hundred real dollars. So let's hope that we come up odd, baby. Here we go, Floop, are you ready? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, be sure, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, oh, oh, I won! I won! Ah! Gambling is great, everyone. Be sure to gamble away all of your life savings. Do not fucking do that. Don't, 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 excuse my language, but do not do that. This is the wrong information he's serving. Nothing bad ever comes from gambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as okay. always, wear your... And now, for what you've... Oh. All right, well... We're gonna react to that when that comes out. But yeah, guys. Um, I really, I, I, I actually like, I like what Oz one out do. Despite that he's he don't post every day, it's actually life lessons and he talk about life. And I really, I really dig that, man. But yeah, guys. It has me your boy Ja X Kaiser. I am out. I love you, Kaiser crew. We on the road to what?